Tokyo Electric Power Company has chosen a new president. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will promote into its top job an executive that's been in charge of compensation for nuclear accident victims. TEPCO selected Naomi Hirose as the next president in an extra board meeting on Tuesday. The 59-year-old Hirose will officially replace the current chief, Toshio Nishizawa, in June after the company gains approval from shareholders. Hirose has been supporting victims of the nuclear disaster. His promotion is seen as a bid to rejuvenate management and send the message that the firm is committed to its compensation duties. TEPCO does face mounting challenges. They include the decommissioning of damaged plants while providing a stable power supply in addition to the huge compensation payouts that they have. People on the west coast of North America are becoming increasingly concerned about the arrival of debris from last year's earthquake and tsunami in Japan. A massive amount of waste from houses and other structures swept away by the tsunami has crossed the Pacific and reached Canada and the United States. Last month, a motorcycle from Miyagi Prefecture was found on Graham Island off the coast of the Canadian province of British Columbia. Styrofoam, insulation materials and other unusual items have been washing ashore. Some islanders fear that the debris may be contaminated with radioactive materials leaked from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Some municipalities on the island have installed equipment to measure radiation levels. And it's just from an, uh, the anxiety in the community. A particular thing showed up drifting across on the oceans, and you know, I, and I tested it, it was radioactive. That's the only way I can see now. Local governments are looking to the federal government to dispose of the debris because of their limited budgets. There, there's no plans uh, that are currently in place that are solid. We're going to have to work with them as well as the other agencies to develop a plan uh, how to address uh, the, the debris. The disaster that struck Japan more than a year ago is beginning to affect the lives of some North Americans. The China Syndrome. It's about people, people who lie, and people faced with the agony of telling the truth. Right. People like Kimberly Wells, a television reporter paid to smile, not to think. A few words about a veterinarian who makes house calls on sick fish. Or is it aquarium calls? Richard Adams, a cameraman who never learned how to play by the rules. Wait till you get that other room, get that radiation all over that cute little body. Jack Goodell, an engineer who knows too much to tell the truth. In anything that man ever does, there's some element of risk, right? Well, that's why we have what we call defense in depth. And cares too much to lie. No accident. It will start with a tremor in a nuclear power plant. Where it will end will depend on three people. I would say you're probably lucky to be alive. Same for the rest of Southern California. Jane Fonda. Let's face it, you didn't get this job because of your investigative abilities. Kimberly, don't fight it. Jack Lemon. There was a vibration. Michael Douglas. I don't know that accident is the right word. Accident is the right word. The China Syndrome. The harder they try, the more resistance they meet. They've got their own security men. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you want me to make it any clearer? The closer they get, no. the more threatening it becomes. No. The China Syndrome. Today, only a handful of people know what it really means. And they're scared. Soon, you will know. The China Syndrome. The last to go. We'll see the first three go before her. <laughs> and her mangy little dog, too. How about little fire, Scarecrow? Oh, 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 oh,
she's, she's dead. You killed her. I didn't mean to kill her. Really, I didn't. It's, it's just that he was on fire. Hail to Dorothy, the wicked witch is dead. Hail, hail to Dorothy, the wicked witch is dead. The broom. May we have it? Please, and take it with you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now we can go back to the witches and tell them the wicked witch is dead.